Hey there YouTubers, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a full backup of your Android device without using any root procedures. Now this method is going to be especially useful uh, if you're trying to make or if you're trying to root your phone and also if you want to have uh, custom ROM, custom recovery or anything else that you want to do on your Android device and you just want to have a backup to be on the safe side. So I would highly suggest you follow this method. It details it almost line by line. There are some differences based on which version of Windows you use and also um, Android SDK has had some upgrades uh, since this article has been posted. But I'll show you how to do this line by line. So going through the document, the, the two things you would need are the Java Development Kit and Android Studio. So the first order of business would be to go into your phone and have USB debugging enabled. Now let me show you how to do that. So right here I got the screen from, from my phone. I'm going to show you how to get into your USB debugging. So the first thing you would do is go into settings and you would scroll down until you find about device and you would go into your built number as you can see right there tap on it a lot of times until it says 321 you have enabled a developer mo mode and I have already turned on developer mode which is why it says that so if you go back right next to the about device you see developer options right there you would go in there and there you have it USB debugging go ahead and check that box right there the green one and that should complete that process right there and we're going to keep going in the document and the next thing you want to have is install your USB drivers or the Google USB driver to do this you would have to go into your Android SDK and let me show you how to get to that okay so here I have my Android SDK opened up let me go and zoom it up for you guys so I want to find my Android SDK manager as that's what this window is right there so I'm going to go ahead and go in there to find it easily I'm going to go into help and if you just type in SDK it will show up SDK manager for some reason it doesn't select it from your mouse so I'm going to use my keyboard scroll down and hit enter and there you go it opens up into the SDK platforms you can go into SDK tools go ahead and install click on check this box right there which says Google USB driver once you have that clicked in you can go it will automatically install it will ask you for permissions once you have done that hit OK and we'll go on to the next step next we'll be testing your Android debug bridge ADB to do that we'll go into uh, the root directory of wherever you saved um, your Android SDK files and to find that we would need our Android SDK manager so let's go ahead and go into that one again really quick and it tells you the Android SDK path right there okay so let's go ahead and trace it back in our Windows Explorer 
you can you can hit you can copy this you can, if you go into edit or that hopefully that lets me copy there you go you can double click on it and it lets you copy it you can go ahead and then paste it into your Windows Explorer and that should take you into platforms and from there you would press shift and right click and it'll give you the option that says open command window here go ahead and do that and there we go I have my Android command window or I have my command window open right there now moving on to the next step in the procedure you would want to test this out so you would go ahead and type in ADB devices let's do that so I'm going to type in ADB devices and hit enter okay it has found my device And the next thing up in line would be creating the backup. Alrighty. So we're almost there. At least it looks like we're almost there. So let's do that. So right here, you would go ahead and copy that. I'll also put a link to this web page in the description. And also, I'll paste this in the description so that you, you guys can easily get to it. Now to paste in the command window, you would right click. Now Windows 10 gives you this fancy option where it lets you paste it in there. So normally a right click would initiate a paste, but this is a feature in Windows 10. It would paste it. Now we would need to change the name in there as the document says. So I'm gonna change it to the name of my PC. Hit enter. Okay, now it's asking me a question on my phone. So I'm going to go into my phone, which is which I'll show it to you guys right here. It says a full backup of all data files to a connected desktop computer has been requested. Do you want to allow this option to happen? If you did not request, okay, it's just giving you the warning. And uh, if you do wish to encrypt the full backup, enter a password below. I don't want to encrypt it, but if you guys want to encrypt uh, your backup image, go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit backup my data. And there we go. So it's currently running the backup. And I'm just going to let it do its thing not sure how long it's going to take but i'm going to pause the video right here and once it comes back online again we'll continue through the next part of the video Okay, so now it looks like it has completed the backup. So my phone didn't tell me exactly it was complete, but it said it just stopped at the shared folder. So I'm assuming that it's completed as there are no further options. So now we'll go ahead and just try it. I'll show you how to get the restore option if you want to restore to the image that you just created. To do that, we'll open up the command prompt again and go ahead and copy that command right there. So what we're going to do is 
we'll go ahead and copy and paste that code into the previous command that we already have, which is the file path. So we'll go ahead and paste it. Let me make sure I copy that. Looks like I copied it. Okay, now we pasted that. Go ahead and change the name to your PC. And you would hit enter. Now you gotta go into the into your phone. Oh, by the way, your you have to connect your phone, otherwise this is not gonna work. Okay. So this is what shows up on my phone. For a full restore, you would have to go uh, follow this procedure. If you want, if you have an encryption, you would enter the password, and you would hit restore my data. But right now I do not wish to restore it, so I'm just gonna hit do not restore. And that is how you you would uh, back up your Android phone without using a root method. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found this video useful. If you found it useful, please go ahead and give me the thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And if you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to uh, leave them in the, in the comment section and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.